Okay, so here's my new Christmas present, which is a bone club board, a uh, backgammon bone club board, uh, which I've just ordered. It's just coming in the post today. 5.2 kilograms, so it should be nice and heavy. Uh, and we can compare it against my 21 inch backgammon board here. The box is a little bit bigger and it's a 25 inch board. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. The bone club logo. There we go. Let's get this up. Uh, nice box outside. Oh, there we go. So the board which we've ordered is called the Green Dream. Oh. There we go. So that's the case. Packaging out of the way. Now it's got the Bone Club logo on the case. Uh, let's compare it against my 21 inch board. You can see it's wider and a little bit taller as well than my 21 inch board. It feels very solid and heavy. Uh, it's definitely, definitely made of wood of some kind. Uh, there we go. Nice clip fastenings. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. Wow, look at that. So, it comes with uh, die shakers in the two different colours. Comes with uh, rules of backgammon. That should be helpful, I would say. Maybe not. Comes with your old dice and doubling cue. Nice. Uh, Matching colours to the board, yellow and oh, listen to the sound. Oh, now that's interesting. Ah, so what you can see is that the playing surface is kind of stuck on to the to the bottom here. It's a little bit felty, suede. -y. It's quite hard, quite a hard surface. It's not very cushioned uh, and not perfectly flat around the outside. Um, see finishing possibly be a little bit better. Let's take a look at the checkers. So the, the pieces, they're um, two inch checkers, 50 millimeters. Let's uh, get inside this packet. Mm, try to do that. Wow, look. They're a slight, very interesting kind of marbled checkers, kind of, this, this is a white one, sort of see-through in places. Yeah, definitely see-through in some places. I, I, very nice, actually, I like those marbled checkers. Very nice. Let's have a look at the orange ones. Wow, these ones look lovely. Well, they're very nice. Very interesting orangey colour there. Um, they look good as well. Very nice. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six checkers. It looks like around 11 or 12 checkers across the whole board. Maybe not. Oh, just uh, just over 12 checkers down the side. One, two, three, four, five. They fit pretty well across there like that as you'd expect. A little bit of space for the checkers to move around in. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at the double in cube. So it's uh, what you might expect. It's got the Bone Club logo on instead of 64. It's got all the numbers you'd want. Um, quite a little bit, little bit see-through, kind of a marbled like a just like a an opaque glass effect doubling cube i guess those bits okay very good let's uh, set it up and have a game when they okay well we've just finished our first game of backgammon on the board so ready to talk about how well the board plays uh, and i did win a gammon so i'm feeling good about the board so the um the checkers they're very nice checkers uh, as I showed before, uh, they make a nice noise as, as they move around the, the backgammon board. Um, when you're moving things around, it's not, no need to pick up the check as much. They don't make too much noise as you're moving those around. And obviously, they're a very nice size. Uh, they're uh, five centimeters in diameter, uh, and they're also one centimeter thick. As you can see, if I put five of those together, they're the same uh, same height as the diameter of one of the checkers. So that's nice. The uh, checkers move very nicely. And obviously it's a very big board. 
um, so you can clearly see what's going on actually yeah it's, re it's really big um, and uh, so so that's that's also very nice okay um, let's listen to some of the sounds of playing with the board so what's the, the dice cups are nice and big they're really big dice cups the dice move around nicely and they make a, a reasonable nice sound when they're rolling along the board there we go um, so that's that's good um, probably need to get some white dice to complement the, the board rather than the yellow dice that came with it. Um, uh, one thing noticed when bearing off, obviously the bear off trays down the side are these thin bear off trays in kind of three checkers across. As you can see it's not perfectly straight in a bear off tray so when you're bearing off I guess it's uh, not perfectly flat I should say but you, know, you can get your pieces off quite happily uh, down the side without too much too much fuss. I guess one nice thing about having them set up in threes is that then it's quite quick to take them out and set the board up again at the end of it, end of the game. Um, you can get everything back where it needs to go at the end of the game and uh, you're ready for your next game. There we go. That's the bear off trays. I guess uh, I was talking about how that's not quite flat. You can see here on the bar in the middle how the, 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 the bar here in the middle is, is, is also not, not quite flat. The, um, the the doubling cube and the pieces don't lie perfectly horizontally on the on the on the on the on the bar there. Um, and the other thing that isn't flat is the is sort of the playing area, as you can see, because of the uh, the, the wood that it's made out of, quite thin wood. It, you can see how the, the it's not perfectly flat, so uh, it doesn't affect the playing because the pieces, you know, they're not not going to go sliding around the, the board and, and go to the wrong place. But um, it just shows that it's not quite perfectly flat down there uh, in, in the middle um, and uh, as we looked at earlier just kind of around the edges of the board where the, the corners are, um, the corner pieces they're sort of raised up a bit at the corner, it's not been fully stuck down right to the, right to the absolute corner of the board and so you can see that in some of the, the finishing uh, around the edges of the board. Um, but, you know you don't really notice it once it's in the initial setup and you don't really notice it while you're, while you're playing your game of of backgammon. Uh, it comes with the rules. The rules had a, a very cute little printing error on the rules and you can see that the uh, that they've, they've they've redrawn where the checkers should be in the initial setup of the board which I thought that was quite sweet and it's nice that that's all been printed in you know maybe just by coincidence in the same similar colours to the the way that this board is, uh, is, is designed. Um, so uh, what would be the, the summary for this board? I, I mean I, I'm quite happy with the board. It was a very reasonable price um, it's, it's, it's nice and big, that's one reason why I got it, because I quite fancied having a, like a, the jumbo sized uh, backgammon board um, to, to play with sometimes. It's much more of a, I'd say, of a, a recreational board. Um, you wouldn't play on this, this seriously, um, but you know, you can uh, probably use it to play with the children. They, I'm sure they would enjoy the colour scheme and various things. Um, and uh, I guess I'd just like to finish by saying obviously thank you to, to Guy at Bone Club who, who sent this to us, um, who we bought it from. Uh, I'd also like to say thank you to anyone else on YouTube who does backgammon board unboxing videos. I've seen some very good ones recently and also to anybody who produces backgammon content, um, sharing games, sharing knowledge and experience on backgammon. Um, it's been a, a brilliant thing to learn about during lockdown. Thank you very much uh, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this review.